And so did you ever imagine well, all those years ago that people would still be talking about Monty Python and they'd be playing it in a video game? <laughs> yes. We oh. saw it all. <laughs> we saw it all way back when, 40 years ago. It came to me at night. Really? I was in bed, and I, I, I didn't know it was God speaking to me at the yeah, time. Yeah. I just thought it was a, yeah. you know, a program. Oh, don't grovel. One thing I can't stand is people groveling. Sorry. And don't apologize. Every time I try to talk to someone, it's sorry this and forgive me that, and I'm not worthy. <laughs> I uh, think it was the, the proudest moment was when the, uh, the pantomime Princess Margaret. Now the English pantomime horse has very nearly caught up with the Russian pantomime horse. I think he's going to take him any moment now. But what is this? What is this? Yes, it's the pantomime Princess Margaret and the pantomime goose. And they're attacking the English pantomime horse and the Russian pantomime horse has got away. But who is this? My goodness me, it's the Duke of Kent to the rescue. Oh. The Duke of Kent and the The pantomime Princess Margaret met the pantomime duck. Didn't you? Yes, I think. Yeah, that was a proud moment. Who wrote think. that moment? Because mm. it's such a clever idea. I know, and I think yeah. John actually. Yeah, yeah, John was always. John Graham. He was always the keen most keen on that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Royalty and ducks. And ducks. Mm. Yes. So you mentioned John there. Who, who, in your opinion, is the best Python? Who, in what order do they go from best to worst? Um. Well. We judge it by a number of waves, don't we? I think so, is, yeah, we? yeah, I think so. So John <laughs> probably wins out. Enough of this gay banter. Eric and I come second, and, and Mike Terry and, 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 and Mike yeah. come, uh, well, Well, fifth. Graham came last. And then That's Graham came dead. last That's anyway. Yeah. Gone. <laughs> What's gone, dear? Nothing, nothing. No, just, just like the word, it gives me confidence. Gone. <laughs> Gorn. It's got a sort of woody quality about it. Gorn. He didn't like women, and that's why he died. Well, he did like women, but he oh, he pretended like, not to. Didn't like having sex with women. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. I understand that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, as you yeah. one gets older, one yeah. learns to learn. Yeah. yeah. Not mm. sex with women. Yeah. I'm I hoping think. to learn. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think sex with yourself is. Probably yeah, best. Well, I dress up in a dress yeah, yeah. and have sex with myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's sort of sex with women. You know? That's all of them. It's close. So, to oh, hello. <laughs> oh, sorry, we're on television. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's uh, just gone 8 o'clock and time for the penguin on top of your television set to explode. It was an inspired guess, and now I think my favourite role that Terry plays is the uh, the jailer in the uh, Life of Brian. Who's uh, and Terry said, I've got this idea of uh, he's got this he's been chopped in half, and, he, and he's got this sc skull that's he's got this scar right down his middle. He's been stuck back together again, and he's not quite right. Have they gone? We we got lumps of it around the back. Terry's, Terry's <laughs> creosote is, is just an amazing character. Ah, good afternoon, sir, and how are we today? Better. Better? Better get a bucket, I'm gonna throw up. Because it's such, oh, it should, it's such a sort of one-note character, except yeah. you make it work. <laughs> That's what's really hard, because the character's got nowhere to go. To now. <laughs> and it's just brilliant. A new bucket for monsieur. And the cleaning woman. 